This video from GE Wind Logistics shows the high-level quality and safety procedures for offloading the GE 48.7 and 50.2 meter blades from rail cars and loading the blades into truck fixtures. In addition to this video, you must review the appropriate GE handling specifications such as S0009 and review your offloading plan with GE. The photos shown here provide a general overview over the rail fixtures and securement methodology. Using a crane at the root end of the blade, double wrap a clean sling around the root in a position as defined in the GE handling specifications, also noting the minimum sling requirements in the spec. You can now unlock and release the twist locks on the A-frame rail root fixture. To lift the tip end of the blade, appropriate protectors must be positioned at lift locations on the blade in accordance with the S0009 spec. If the GE blade has serrations on the trailing edge, no trailing edge protector should be used. Using a second crane, place a clean sling under the leading edge protector and carefully lift the blade off the rail car. Care should be taken to avoid contacting the tip fixture or the tip fixture rollers with the blade. During the lift, it's important to avoid any pressure from the sling on the trailing edge of the blade. Carefully place the blade into a pre-staged truck fixture, which has the leading edge protector installed at the appropriate support location. With the blade still suspended, remove the A-frame rail root fixture by removing the nuts on the blade bolts and using a forklift to carefully pull the A-frame away from the blade root. In order to place the blade into the truck fixture, the blade will need to be rotated to the proper angle of 32 to 33 degrees as defined in the GE handling specifications. With the blade tip resting on the leading edge protector in the truck fixture, rotate the blade by double wrapping the sling around the root and lifting by only one sling. Other rotation methods are described in the GE S0009 specification. Again, care should be taken to avoid any pressure on the blade trailing edge with the tip end sling. Note that the appropriate leading edge and trailing edge protectors are in place for both lifting and truck transport. When applying the blade truck root fixture, please refer to the GE S0009 spec to identify the appropriate bolts for installation. The bolt positioning will ensure the proper angle of the blade for the truck transport. Torque each nut to 300 newton meters.